If you're wondering what this is, it's Sunday brunch with Moppy, and I'm Sean Diddy. I spent, oh my gosh, almost 30 years uh, in the health and wellness industry. Um, I have overseen brands and different products, but I've also, you know, been a mom. I competed in pageants, which is this whole, I know, see, this, the three of us haven't gotten to talk about it, <laughs> but that's when I decided to become a personal trainer and health coach, and I, I had never heard of Ayurveda. So this is brought to you by Moppy, and we say it's brunch, and we're serving up weekly wellness talks about the ancient science of Ayurvedic eating, cooking, herbs, and living, and I will tell you that these are the experts. Uh, maybe you know a lot about Ayurveda, you know, Mappy's been offering safe and effective and authentic all natural Ayurvedic supplements and lifestyle products since like the mid 1980s. So, you know, they're really also big on education. And that's why we're here today. And that's why we're doing Sunday brunches. <laughs> so we want you to join us every Sunday if you can. We have four booked right now. You can go to the Moppy website if you like this one. I know you have to wait <laughs> so if you like it. <laughs> you like it. <laughs> um, if you like it by the end of this and you want to come back, please do. Um, I want to introduce uh, Sean Gray will be with me for the next four weeks. And then um, Amy's our special guest this week. But Sean Gray, I kind of gave a little roundabout of how I got here and we'll get more into that, but I actually was getting my PhD at MIU, Maharishi International University, and ran into you there. And by the way, we get to call her Dr. Shankri. <laughs> okay, and Shankri, I'm gonna actually walk across for a second and let you introduce yourself. So go ahead. Sure. Well, hello everyone. My name is Shankri Wegman, and um, I'm so happy to be here, not just this Sunday. Any day is a great day to talk about Ayurveda health and wellness. Um, a little bit about me. I have been doing and practicing Marsha Ayurveda for a little over 20 years. I just this week completed my doctorate, um, my PhD in physiology and health, and <laughs> you know, um, which has been a long journey, but very, very fulfilling. And um, I've been practicing at the Raj Ayurvedic uh, Health Spa, the in Integrative Wellness Clinic, both as a in the clinician role as well as um, helping to teach the masters in Marshall Ayurveda at Marshall National University. And it is a total pleasure to be here. Um, I think Sean had spoken a little bit about Mapi, and Mapi is short for Maharshi Ayurveda products international and this word ayurveda some of you might be familiar with um, it comes from the sanskrit word uh, ayurveda is made up of two words ayu which means life and veda which means knowledge and when we talk about marshi ayurveda the real connection is that link to consciousness that underlies everything and how can we best connect with that field and through that every single aspect of our physiology mind body emotions get strengthened in a very, very natural, effortless way. So a little bit about Ayurveda, and we're here with Amy. And Amy, Hello. could you tell us a little bit about your background and how you got involved with Moppy? Sure. OK, so I came here a couple years back, so the mm -hmm. chapter, <laughs> but uh, one day, maybe. Yes, definitely. Yes, yes, we're crossing our fingers here. So, um, so I came from Los Angeles, and I got introduced to Maharishi University through a couple of my friends and um, I joined the Ayurvedic program and so I'm an Ayurvedic consultant through Maharishi University and I work for Mopi now so and I am their uh, wellness coach their Ayurvedic specialist their, their consultant and so I do take in um, consultations and check-ins we actually call them and it's been such a delight this past year a nice roller coaster and I'm really happy to be doing this and continuing my education. Uh, and I, 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 they have brought things today and I, <laughs> I'm, I'm over by your bags going, okay, we're going to talk about what this is in a little bit. Um, this I kind of know, <laughs> but, uh, but it, I know when we were talking this morning, um, and, and I do need to let you know, the chat is open on this particular brunch. Going forward, we're going to use the Q&A um, and we'll just do a live Q&A. So I'll read the questions that you have and we'll answer your questions. Um, because this is our first setup and, and you know how things go, it's our first brunch. Yeah, first time in the yeah. restaurant. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, but, but no, this morning you all were talking about um, kapha. 
because we were coming in and it's, we're in Iowa right now. I live in New York part of the year. I know you said you Los Angeles part elsewhere. So Kafa, from the little bit that I understand has to do with springtime and, and the seasons. So can you tell us why, um, that's kind of one of our topics today because as everybody was coming in and we were talking about, we went through the pandemic, we're all kind of sluggish. Mm -hmm. And then you all mentioned Kafa. What is it? Right. So well, Kapha is one of the doshas, and there's three doshas in Ayurveda. Um, and a dosha, it could be a little bit of an abstract concept. Mm -hmm. um, an easy way to understand dosha is that it is a governing some aspect of our physiology. And there's three in Ayurveda, vata, pitta, and kapha. Like you said, it's mm -hmm. also can be pronounced kapha, but kapha is also another pronunciation. So these doshas are governing some aspect of the physiology because of the elements that make them up. So vata is the lightest dosha made up of space and air. Pitta is more of a fiery dosha made up of fire and water. And kapha, this dosha that you were talking about, Sean, is made up of earth and water. So it's the heaviest of the three doshas. And so in that way, the qualities of kapha reflect that heaviness. So heavy, um, slightly cold, uh, there's a wetness to it. So you can understand that even from the spring, that there's this kind of heaviness and that wetness of the earth, you know, just starting to melt from the, the sun coming up, melting that snow. Yes. Um, and in terms of the physiology, like you were mentioning, that sluggishness, that could be there because of that heavy principle. So if we're feeling our digestion is a little bit heavy, that could reflect that the inner aspect of the physiology the digestion there could be some heaviness so some fine tuning mm -hmm. could be there okay Absolutely. she keeps saying heavy <laughs> <laughs> um, just sluggishness and yeah. digestion 2020 Slug and 2021 were a little hard mm -hmm. on my closet. sluggishness sluggishness yeah. and digestion. <laughs> um i have I put my scale away because <laughs> I good. just, I yeah. switched it because I grew up in the United States. I switched it to kilograms in oh, order to trick myself. Yeah. <laughs> but then I figured out my own trick. Mm -hmm. And then I went to my physician mm -hmm. and she had switched to kilograms. So then I knew. You're doing it right. Um, you know, and that, that brings up a good point is, yeah. uh, you know, when we talk about these, these tips, um, if you have any questions, maybe you have a special medical condition, always check with your own healthcare mm -hmm. provider. Mm -hmm. We want to build a community mm -hmm. because yeah. this is about about, you know, talking about real topics. Yes. So ask those questions. Um, I'm going to step away for one more second and switch the chat over. And then when I come back, I'm going to ask live questions. So we've, we've kind of stepped into Kappa, but I think you had a little more to say about it. So I'm going to walk right in front of you sure. right now because we're live and I'll be right back. I will thank you. Here we go. 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 Can you talk a little bit about the Kappa kind of value? Sure. Digestion. Well, yeah, let's, I'm just going to build off of what you were saying because yeah. that, that heavy quality is just, it's not like necessarily what, like heavy quality or heavy quality. It's like, it's like how you're feeling inside, what's happening inside as the macro, so the micro, what's happening on the outside in the environment is happening what's on the inside so digestion is becoming a little bit more weak at this time okay spring it's melting everything right. as as the macro so the micro so things are melting inside mucus is accumulating the digestion is becoming a little bit more weaker at this time and so we're going to want to take steps to make sure to take care of our bodies in the, in those manners so each season is accumulating of the ama which means toxins in Ayurveda. okay so it's accumulating and we want to detox in this time right now do you agree it's a good time to detox <laughs> and i think you know people start to you know they can feel that change of season mm -hmm. so Kapha is more related um, in the spring season, um, Pitta is in the summer, Vata uh, is more in the winter. And so this change of season can also be a delicate time when we just start feeling something a little bit different in our digestion. And Ayurveda recommends this change of season as an optimal time to maybe just take a moment to cleanse the physiology. Absolutely, that. especially in the springtime. You know, I've um, got the pollen coming out. Did you want to walk on through? Please come, I, I, that was, come on through the city. That, <laughs> this was a, a total interruption. You're no, like, no, no, no. Pollen, no. and I'm like, mm, yes. pollen, and so flowers. Continue. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you're like me, because I, I've, I've lived all over now sure, in yes. Iowa, but pollen is different in different places, right? Mm -hmm. And so you have a different, I, I don't know if reaction might be too medical of a term, but yeah, yeah. My nose behaves differently <laughs> in different places. So is there, so feel free as you're answering what you're answering, 
tell me if maybe there's something I can do based on where, where I am. Yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. all about the digestion. I think there is a podcast on that as well on the Mafi website. Um, so it's all related to the digestion. So we want to keep our digestion nice and light right now with foods, different type of herbs. Um, if you want to go and smell the roses, it's a great time. <laughs> Just really, you really get to really know yourself for real. So if you can't smell outside, have a little garden. We've all known that through the pandemic, right? We have a, a shield on, so that might help a little bit with the pollen. And also, we want to keep up our immunity. So there's an omric collage that we have on the website. If you're detoxing, there's a Limtox O, a Limtox Digest Tone. We have, you no, know, it's actually called Tree Fall Out Rose now, so. We all love tree fall out. Yeah. We all love the summer flash, what we talked about in the website. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> and then well, let me do this. The QA is now open. So we have closed the chat. The QA is open. So go ahead, type your questions into the QA. You can ask them anonymous, anonymously if you want, and we'll ask our experts. But I will tell you. Sean Curry and I did a podcast together and I was in New York in my little booth <laughs> and she was in Fairfield in a booth and she was explaining Amrit Kalash to me. Please. I said it right. You did. It yeah. took me a while. Yeah. I love Sanskrit. <laughs> I hope we can do more episodes just to talk about it. Yeah. But while we were there, she said there's this, it's like a jelly. Well, first tell, okay, if you don't know what it is, first you should know what it is. Well, so this word Amrit that okay. you're talking about, just the word itself means immortality. It is linked with immunity. So Amrit Kalash is an amazing, amazing um, herb that has been created. There's um, over 52 steps to make this product. There's like over hundreds of herbs that go into Amrit, all for helping to rejuvenate um, our, our physiology to strengthen immunity. Mm -hmm. So it's an amazing, amazing product. And when I was describing it to you, Sean was like, well, how does it taste? And I'm like, well, it's like a jam, except it's a little bit different. Um, it's a, a little bit darker, a little thicker. And when you take a little spoon, you just need a spoon morning and evening, a little teaspoon, and it is, it's delicious. It tastes kind of um, not sweet, but not, uh, it has all the taste. I and think. so she had me, you know, we haven't gotten to talk about this. Yeah. So all I could think about was like, as an adult, I have permission to stick a spoon in something. Yeah. Yeah. Eat out of the jar. So she walks in and there was mass chaos because it's our first front, you know, getting all the live streams going. And by the way, you can tell your friends, um, I, Join us on the Zoom. So go to the Moppy website and sign in so that we can see your questions. Mm -hmm. But we're also live st streaming on Facebook. Hello. And by next week, we'll be able to see you on Facebook and on uh, YouTube and all of that. But anyhow, as I was running to my seat, there's a little spoon in here. <laughs> yeah, a little spoon so, and a little container so of Omri. I'm going to reach over and grab it. And this is no joke. I have been waiting to try this. How long ago was that like? I think it was like a month ago. A month. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about digestion and here's where we all get to know each other really well. Mm. I have a very slow mm. digestion mm. and we can talk more about that as we progress. But mm -hmm. if you're like me, um, we'll have some tips for that. But we're also going to talk about people um, because I, I want to talk about cleanses, if that's all right today. Yeah, I know yeah. our time's really limited, yeah. but I feel like this is the time of year where everybody's like, oh my gosh, I sat around all winter, and <laughs> now I have to put on a swimsuit. Right. Yeah. So the pressure's on. I'm going to taste this. Now, what do, how so, much? So, it's just, so you can see this spoon is not There's very big. Like. Um, and you just, you don't really need that much. Just maybe even half a spoon of that just to start with. And that's just enough morning and evening. And as you said, with kind of the sluggishness kind of quality, um, you know, because this is a jam kind of consistency, you don't want to have a lot, you know, just spoonfuls. Just a little bit is more than enough because it's power packed. Mm -hmm. um, so just morning and evening, just a little spoon, you can follow it with some warm water, even very, very simple. And do you, get, do you mix it in anything ever? Um, you can have it with some milk. Can mix it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Putting that with bread or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really like milk. <laughs> just okay, a little bit. Right, yeah. yeah. And you can just see, you know, it's a bit. Oh, it is sweet. It's a mm -hmm. little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, two yes. thumbs up. Yeah, herbs are delicious. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are the little? There's like a little crunch. There could be um, just just some herbs, sugar mm -hmm. granules. Mm -hmm. It has ghee in it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 
just my kids love it. You know, both of them are oh my gosh. so it's, yeah. it's kid friendly. It, I know. Um, again, you, you do want to, you know, consult with your physician yeah. depending on the age of your kids, um, things like that. It's, so have you always known, and I agree has kind of been part of your life all along, but has it for you? Um, so it's, it was actually brand new to me. I'm Mexican American. So this is, this is from India and I thought it was, my God, so beautiful. And so it was never, never in my culture. My culture is different and, um, and obviously it spans throughout all cultures, but my culture was not like that. Mm -hmm. And so when I came here, um, and to learn about this, it was just, phenomenal so it really did save my life in ways that I, I couldn't I couldn't even express right now I am I'm so filled with gratitude all the time DTs are different religions are different but it doesn't really matter the Ayurveda can expand from all cultures and it really did teach me something I mean, obviously in Mexico you have different herbs and things like that but um so yeah I, I haven't grown up with it but I'm definitely going to for the rest of my life become of it become part of it Mm -hmm. uh, we do have some questions, so I'm going to um, get to one of these. So um, Tilan asks, um, and again, I, I see this and I am going to preface this with PhD doctor, PhD doctor, many hours of training as a, as a health coach and, and many hours of training. But if there is a medical issue, remember, you always want to refer to your, your primary care Absolutely. physician. But this yeah. is something that I think is a lot of us think about. Um, Tilan says, I have autoimmune issues. Um, so very interested in this. Could you talk more about this? Um, <laughs> well, but here's another one. Can you roll this into a few food suggestions for breakfast and lunch for kapha? Sure. Mm -hmm. So maybe I could start with the autoimmune. Yes, please do. Yeah. Um, anything related to autoimmune is linked to the immune system. Mm -hmm. um, and so in Ayurveda, um, anything with the immune system is also inherently connected to the digestive system. Um, Vaidhi Manohar, who's an incredible, wonderful Vaidya, who's been, or has been with Malpi for over four decades. Um, what I love, what he says about immunity is he says, I am immunity. And so immunity inherently has this quality of unity. Um, so anything with autoimmune, we also want to find ways of connecting back to that value of unity, to consciousness, to that underlying field. Um, so anything with meditation, yoga, um, all of these different modalities that help to connect to our deeper um, aspect of ourselves is very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. And in terms of what we're talking about with immunity here, we're also being very self-referral. You know, you know, what is the state of emotion, stress? That also affects our immune system. That can exacerbate certain autoimmune conditions. Mm -hmm. So really looking at the link to stress, looking at how we're feeling um, before we eat, during what we're eating, after we eat, our sleep, our you know, our connections with our relationships, friendships, all of that affect the immune response. And so what I think Ayurveda and Marsha Ayurveda shows is how all of this can come together. Yeah, so if you have the daily routine that you'd want mm -hmm. to implement, it's really important. Mm -hmm. The Dina Charas, the daily routine. Oh, 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 there's one of those words again. <laughs> I'm guessing it's Sanskrit. Dina Chara. Okay. Dina so, Chara? Dina Chara. Dina Chara. I'm saying that right. Yeah, I'm saying do you all raise your them. hand? By the way, I can we can do the hand raise. Raise your hand if you're familiar with Ayurveda and Sanskrit terms. And and so I'll I'll pause us quite a few, but quite a few new. Okay. So okay, so explain that term to us. And for those who already know it, I apologize. I have to slow us down for a second because I don't know if that one. So it's okay. just it's the daily routine. So your meditation that we're talking about, um, your diet, your um abhyanga, if you're doing that, are you doing any type of nausea? Are you breathing so in oil massage? Oh yes, of course. Just like Sanskrit Sanskrit well, you should know. No, I'm just feeling oh no. Look at all the hands. A lot of people, <laughs> but no, you know, I would say we're about 50-50 because oh. there's this group, uh, but and then 40, 60, 40% 40 of people yeah. raise so. their hands. So thank you. And and we want you to tell us what you want to talk about mm, uh, in these, these chats. And we literally, y'all, we have five minutes left. Oh no. And we, oh, have, God, we brought the yoga mat. This is yoga something. <laughs> um, we can get through our quick yoga. I think just um, yeah, one or two. We're just going to talk about a few yoga things. But while we're looking here, Mark Asks, I'm having trouble disciplining myself to an Ayurvedic diet and have an uncontrollable urge to snack. 
I hear you, Mark. <laughs> Especially in the evening. Mm -hmm. Is there a healthy snack that's easy to digest to help moderate those cravings? Um, I I would say instead of snacking, and then this is, sounds crazy, but if it's from the hours of like two to six and you're really feeling that afternoon snack, go for a walk. Mm -hmm. You got to go for a walk. Mm -hmm. I know people reach for the sugar. They reach for the caffeine. Go for a walk. She's transitioning us into <laughs> go for the walk. We but, it is, but it is true that the yeah. whole um, the whole idea of exercise does help us. And I before we go to yoga, I'm just gonna share my screen. Well, this is the home that we're in on this juniper holiday and home. They are our sponsor for this segment um, and this beautiful couch. I we should do another segment here and cook so you can see the kitchen and that area. By the way, we do have a cooking segment coming up in three weeks. Yeah. We're going to do mm -hmm. a recipe. We have uh, Bajaman Bar coming. Yeah, and uh, Doc, Dr. Nancy Lonsdorf is coming in too. And um, T. Lynn and anybody else who was wondering what we said, there's the, if you want to look that up, because I know we're, we're almost out of time here, but you can go to mappy.com and search around. But the actual link to the Amrit Collage is that, uh, Vitality dash <laughs> dash up. And now with the few moments we have left, we're going to approach this from those who are very experienced in yoga and those who used to do yoga a lot and sat for two whole years on a couch. Mm -hmm. Not as comfortable as this one with a cat and a lot of tea. <laughs> so, so, um, what, what's the easiest yoga pose you could show me that I could just do? We could do sitting or we could just do even lying down. Um, just something as simple as that. Okay. You know, so just, just lying with down. The <laughs> <laughs> okay. So literally I and I'm in my jeans and my shirt. We but just is there a right. technique to the lying down? Yes, <laughs> actually there is. Okay. Um, this is known as Chaitanasana. Chaitanasana. Chaitana, I mean, those words so are so this beautiful. word Chaitana <laughs> means consciousness. Asana means seat. So it's really a seat of consciousness that you're, you know, practicing when we're doing yoga. Yoga means union. Yoga asanas means those postures. Um, so this is called, Sean, you're still here with us. <laughs> Did you hear me? I I did. Did. I but, so I practice transcendental meditation and I, mm. so I do meditate, but I had that moment of like, you know, yeah. when you're meditating, I just went, yeah. yeah. So it. to come yeah. into this pose, you can just um, have your um, feet out. They can, mm. maybe even you can um, just a little bit, yeah, just oh, be okay. relaxed. You can have your palms up. Yeah, that's great. And I'm a, I'm an overachiever. <laughs> one thing you want to do is like you want to be just aware of your neck, so you can just tuck your chin in just a little bit, like that. And then, um, is this comfortable? What's you? funny is when you have me tuck my chin in, I, I did the correct breathing where your stomach goes out like yeah, it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. and this yeah. is just helping, you know, with the neck. It's just aligning the spine. And Chaitanasana is all about consciousness. Mm -hmm. And so what this pose is allowing is that it's promoting restful alertness. Um, it's also relaxing the whole body. And it it helps to replenish any kind of energy that has been depleted. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a very, you know, nourishing pose because there's this value of consciousness also there so if you just want to take even like 10 seconds just with your eyes closed uh, you can if you well want to. here's the thing i know we don't have that <laughs> you said that sitting is also a yoga pose sitting so is, can you show me the sitting pose yes yes and then you let us know if you would like a whole because they're both yoga experts and and i i have one time to do it but i've forgotten the, the details that make it correct. So sure. I don't even remember how to sit. Well, you know, sitting, it just seems like we sit could on? do sitting, you know, sitting, okay, so just feels... sitting just so you know, she gave me a little pillowy thing. So if you would like oh, a little bit of support that's when you're sitting, that's really helpful. Um, one thing when you're sitting, bottom. Yeah, you can if you like. Okay, so, so like give that like a straighter spine. Okay. Yes. You can bring your feet in, you know, so you want to bring your foot inward like this. And that kind of just helps that alignment. And then having something to support the, you know, to support the, the bottom is helpful. So just sitting on something is helpful. And it's just, you know, hands comfortably, shoulders back. Um, and sometimes we can kind of come forward or back a little bit, but sitting on something also just kind of promotes that strengthening of the spinal muscles. And it's, 
it, it helps calm the whole physiology and it promotes focus. So do you think this is something, if somebody's in a, like going back to the office mm -hmm. and they feel themselves getting stressed out, could you just sit, like make, find a way to, yeah. Just what would sure. you say? Like, what are the tips? Um, I would say standing desk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Another episode. laughs> I would say, yes, I would say it's fine position. Just make sure that you're like not too far away from your keyboard. Always have a, like a structured back mm -hmm. chest, shoulders back a little bit, and then just be, be aware, have self referral so that you're not like slouching or leaning back or having a curve or things like that. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And this pose sits sitting in, in yoga, it's known as sukhasana, so yeah, which sukhasana. means happiness or pleasantness. So it brings you pleasantness. <laughs> <laughs> but you have brought pleasantness. That was 30 minutes. Our brunch has flown by. Um, Amy, we want to have you back because there are so many things. We we touched little tips of things. And Shankar, I know you are involved with the regular yoga class with MIU. There's a Friday and Sunday. There's a regular um, opportunity to practice with the whole group globally. Mm -hmm. So is it just look up MIU? Yeah, Marsh International University Yoga Centers, and it'll link to ways to register. And then you can have meetings with Amy through Mopi, right? Yes, yes. Mopi, mopi.com. I'll be here for you. Yay. Yeah, so we <laughs> want to do this. So we do have um, Nancy Lonsdorf and uh, Dr. Ma or Bajam Anahar, who's getting a PhD on top of all of this. Already. Oh, he has already. <laughs> and then the cooking segment is coming up. So please follow on Facebook and on Instagram. That will have the link for the Zoom so that you can get in and ask the questions. Um, to the folks that asked questions today, thank you. We will get more questions in next week. And uh, just take care of yourself. Please enjoy yourself. And what was the, what is this post called? Sukhasana. Sukhasana. <laughs> Happiness to everyone. Thanks for joining us.